I've been trying to get another light in this room to create some extra ambiance. Basically another light in the corner just above my shoulder there. So I've got this. This is the Viltrox K60 RGB LED light wand. If you've seen some of my recent videos and you may have noticed it making an appearance in the background. Now whether you're crafting the perfect shot for Instagram, creating a YouTube video or setting the vibe for your next TikTok video, this compact, powerful, portable, versatile and to be honest not that expensive tool might be a useful addition to your setup. I like this light because it's essentially good at being just a light packed with all the features that you'd expect to see in lights like this or small ones like this all in this type of form factor that differentiates itself from small lights like this panel lights like this and larger studio lights like this the most important thing that all these lights have in common is that they are designed to make your content shine. With 20 watts of power spread emitted from 266 LEDs, the K60 delivers a good amount of brightness and the full 360 degree RGB color spectrum means you've got access to almost any color that you want to use. Whether you're looking for a soft fill light or something more dramatic, you can adjust the color temperature of this for between 2500K to 8500K. So I'm currently testing the color temperature on the K60, which is sat here in front of me. It's not pointing directly at me. It's actually pointing so it goes across me. So it's not directly in my face, but I'm using the WeLight Pro app just to change the color temperature. So it's currently set to 2500K. So I'm gonna go through all the way up to 5500K, which is what the temperature that I usually do for my videos. So this is around this temperature and I'll go and it goes all the way up to 8500K. So you've got that cool 8500K all the way down to the warm 2500K. And there is a magenta green shift scale as well. So if you do find, if you shoot on cameras that do have that little bit of a shift, you can adjust the magenta and the green settings for those. And obviously you can do just the brightness as well. For me in here, as I said before, I was just looking for a light to fill in the space in the background. Small lights like this couldn't fill the snuff space and my larger light, the Amaran 150C, which is just over there, is positioned to put lights in this area here without actually being in the shot. So as a quick demonstration, I'm gonna put this light in my background and you just let me know in the comments what you think, whether it actually makes the background look a bit better. So I'm gonna turn it on. And I'm going to set it to probably 100%, currently set to 87%. I'm going to leave it at 87% and then put it in the background. So when I put it in the background, just let me know in the comments what you think about the new shot. So I put it down, let's get back to the shot. So it's currently in the shot, so now I've got blue over here and that red background which I'll probably play about a little but what do you think just let me know in the comments below so this is the intensity at 87% and if I just shine it over here you can just see that light spread and just see exactly how far and if I turn it on 100% which is just a little bit more powerful than what it was currently set to you can see what 100% actually gives you in there and you can as I said before you can choose whichever color you want from the 360 degree spec color spectrum that you get. So with this light, it's able to give me that big burst of soft light that I need, whether that's the natural light or a specific RGB color. So if you're used to using small lights like these, then you'll be familiar with the control panel because it's pretty much exactly the same. It lets you dial in the exact hue, saturation, and the brightness that you need. Plus it's got 26 built-in scene light effects. And if you want to use this light hands-free because maybe it's somewhere out of touch where you've mounted it, there is a Wii Light Pro app that controls all of the functions of this light, giving you access to wireless control, creating presets, accessing those lighting features, finer color customization, so you can precisely dial in your desired color temperature and hue using the app, ensuring that your lighting matches the mood and theme of whatever you are creating. And if you have more than one of these lights, then you can control all of them with the app. With everything I use this light for, from keeping it in the background of my A-roll to lighting up any product shots I'm doing, it's easy enough just to use the onboard controls, which thanks to the easy to use and follow display, is suitable for my use. 
But if you are mounting this somewhere out of reach, which can be done by using the quarter inch hole at the bottom, so you can add a tripod or something, and the app's gonna give you that convenience of just being able to adjust the lighting setup without leaving your camera position. Control apps like this are designed to streamline your workflow, making those little adjustments efficient and hassle-free. Depending on your circumstances, some, for some lights, it is perfect to use and other lights it's a bit more of a convenient just to use the onboard stuff. Content creators of all kinds are going to be able to find a good use for a light like this. Vloggers, filmmakers, photographers, you can use this light one to create striking backdrops, dynamic lighting for interviews and even add an ethereal glow to your portraits. Because it's portable and lightweight weighing 569 grams you can take it anywhere with the bag that the light comes in whether you're shooting at home in your studio, out in a wild or in a tight urban space. It has a 2200 milliamp hour built-in rechargeable battery with a battery life of up to an hour and a half at full power. So you've got plenty of time to get that perfect shot and if you do need to recharge it, it can be done via USB-C and it is compatible with PD and QC fast charging. If you're looking for a light for your content, whether that's upgrading from smaller lights like this because you want a bigger light coverage and spread, a light to complement other lights like I do with my one here and there, or something that means that you're not going to have to use those bigger lights that need to be plugged in, then this light wand might be for you. It's not just about illumination, it's about creating a mood, setting the scene, and adding that extra layer of professionalism to your work. It's about giving your content that visual pop that will make people stop scrolling and start watching your content. This is basically that perfect balance of a user-friendly design and the advanced functionality. If you're interested in getting this light, I'll leave the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.